among the ladies of Ansar, among the first to pledge allegiance to Allah, patient, complete faith in Allah, pious, wise, and God-fearing. These were some of the qualities of Umm um Salma Asma bint Yazid Ansar. Her statements were well considered, therefore she was always eloquent and convincing. Her phrases were in beautiful sequence like a string of pearls, and her tone was well modulated and sweet sounding. She was Khatibatan Nisa, spokesperson of the women. On one occasion, she appeared before the Prophet as a representative rather than as an attorney to plead for the cause of women. She excellently put forth the question that men have more opportunities for earning rewards from Allah because they can do things that women cannot do. Mentioning the role men and women play, she asked, are women not equally deserving from reward from Allah? The Prophet was very moved and impressed by her eloquently presented and rational plea and answered her, please go and tell the ladies whom you represent that by doing your duty by your husbands in a pleaseful manner, keeping them in mind what will make them happy and following them faithfully, you will please greatly Allah and he will give you the same rewards as have been promised to men. She went back very pleased. Umay Salma Asma says that one day the Prophet came to their house and she offered him some bread and some soup she cooked. She said that she swears by Allah in whose hand is her soul that there was about 40 people who sat down for the meal. There was just a little bread and the soup was in a small leather bowl. But everyone had a hearty meal and there was a still a lot of food left over. Then the family too ate their fill. She says that she cleaned the bowl and put it away in a safe place. She says that whenever anyone in the family felt sick, she would give him water in, a, in that bowl and he would be cured. Sometimes for plentitude, they would use the bowl to drink water and their needs would be fulfilled. She was the first woman who was divorced at the time of the Prophet. The verses of Ida, the waiting period, came down in regards to her. During the Battle of the Trench, Umm Salma sent her favorite dish of dates and butter to the Prophet, and even the Mujahideen took part took of it. Everyone had their fill, but there was still some quantity of food left over. In the matter of knowledge and learning from Umm Salma Asma, occupied a very high position. She narrated a hadith and tasfir of ayahs attending the halakas of Prophet with women. She is a very patient person and thankful to her Lord under all circumstances. During the Battle of Uhud, her father Yazid bin Sakan and her brother and her uncle were all martyred. She thanked Allah that the Prophet had arrived back well. She was a member at the peace treaty of signing of the peace treaty of Hudaybiyah. She was among the companions at the debate with one. She took part in the Battle of Khaybar and Yarmouk. Caring for the wounded, she was so brave that with the Roll of her tent, she killed nine Roman soldiers in the battle. She never left an opportunity to get rewards and had the spirit of sacrifice. May Allah be pleased with her.